students, today we will be dealing with figure based questions from menstruation. The diagram shows a solid cone, so you're going to talk about a solid cone here with radius 7.6 cm, so the radius of the cone is going to be 7.6 cm. The height of the cone is given as 16 cm. Okay, this is H, this is R. A cut is made parallel to the base of the cone and the top section is removed. The remaining solid has a height 12 cm okay, and is shown in the diagram. Calculate the volume of the remaining solid. The question is very simple and they are just asking you to find the volume. A shape like this is called a frustum. A frustum is formed when you have a cone and the top part you have a parallel line and the top part is being cut off so when you remove a cone when you subtract a top part which is again a cone and what you get is a frustum so your question is to find the volume of this frustum and you have the volume of the bigger cone that can be calculated and you can just subtract the volume of the smaller cone that you have. So this is the simple way, this is a simple approach. This is exactly what is to be done and you have the volume of the cone given to you. Let's see if we have the radius and the height for each of these cones. Now for the bigger one, R is equal to 7.6 and the height is given as 16. For the smaller cone that you have subtracted, now we know that the height of the frustum is 12 cm, so the remaining part, the cone, the height of the cone that is being removed will be 16 minus 12. So this height, this height is going to be 16 minus 12, which is 4 cm. So you have the height of the cone, which is 4 cm. And the radius is what you want. So the radius of this cone is the missing part. You don't know what is the radius. So that's a problem. If you have the radius, that's a direct solution. You just substitute into the formula 1 by 3 pi r square h. And you just subtract. You get the volume of the frustum. So let's see how we can find the radius of the cone that is removed. Talking about similar shapes. You have a right angle triangle here. And considering the cone which is removed to so make another right angle triangle so you have two right angle triangles let me label it as A B C D and E we have equal angles here so we can call them as similar triangles triangle A B E is similar to triangle ACD. So using this condition, I can say AB over AC is equal to BE over CD. Some of you are confused in taking the ratios. Now let me use some color coding. The color should help you learn better. We have already found AB is 16 minus 12 giving you a 4 cm and let me substitute the value so 4 cm over AC is the total height of the cone the bigger cone equal to BE BE is the radius of the smaller cone which we don't know it's unknown and CD is 7.6 cm which is the radius of the bigger cone so from here, R is going to be 4 multiplied by 7.6 over 16 is going to be your R. It's going to be equal to 
9 cm. As we have discussed in the beginning, the volume of the frustum will be equal to the volume of the big cone minus the volume of the small cone, which is one third pi r square h. Now here you have the formula minus the volume of the smaller one. Substitute the values accordingly. One third pi, which is a common term, and I'll be substituting the values for r and h for the respective cones. For the larger cone, the radius is 7.6 centimeters, so 7.6 squared times you have the height of the larger cone at 16 minus the radius of the smaller cone. We have found it as 1.9 squared times the height of the smaller cone is 4. Use your calculator and we'll have 1 by 3 times pi multiplied by 909.72. And the final answer is 952.6565. This is what you get in your calculator. So we need the answer to 3SF. So the volume will be 953 cm cube to 3SF. So this is the volume, which is your final answer. For a frustum of a cone, Adding some additional information regarding an alternate method for solving this question. The volume of a frustum of a cone can also be given by the direct formula where you're considering the radius at the top is R1 and at the bottom side is R2. The height of the shape is given by the letter H. The volume of a cone can be given by one third pi R square H. But here you're dealing with two radius, R1 and R2 for the shape. So the volume of a frustum of the cone is given by one third pi times the radius is R1 squared plus R2 squared plus R1 multiplied by R2 times H. So this is the formula. For the previous question, once you have both the radius, you can directly apply this formula and find the value. One third, one by three pi r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 times h. So this is the formula that I would like to add. Thank you.